A new option has been added in the Machining Attributes area of the Wire EDM section under the Start tab that allows the user to change the way the lead-in behaviour occurs on a uh, wire process. Now this is restricted to circular dies um, but it allows us to choose whether we want to use a default lead-in or whether we want to use uh, uh, the uh, shape of the curve or the start position of the curve itself. So what I have is I have a part here and we've already got something maybe pre-machined or, or pre-eroded with, uh, with the wire beforehand and we just want to finish the model off with these circular sections around the outside. So I'm going to select these circles. So I've got those selected. I'm going to go in and create a new feature. It's a die operation. I've got my curve selected. And there's my curves created. I'm just going to run through to the methods. We're going to use a contouring method. Say finish. I'm just going to edit how we actually come into the contour. So the lead style, I'm just going to turn these to direct. Apply. And OK. So if I rotate the model round and just look from the top, you'll note that we have the default direct direction on the model here is going along the x-axis. So if I was to simulate this in 3D you'll notice that we have this unnecessary cutting into the model. So when we're trying to save how much of the burning is occurring with the wire you can see these regions here are going to be less desirable than this one here. So the only one we really want at the end of you we really want is this area here. So we could go in, we could actually manually change all the start positions through the die itself, but because we've grouped these two, uh, these together, we're going to have uh, a more difficult situation to deal with these. So to get around this, what we can go into is into the machining attributes, into the start tab, and you'll note we have this use lead angle. So if I change this angle, let's say to 90 degrees, and say OK, you'll notice that all of these have changed direction to 90 degrees. But likewise, just go back into that tab, I can actually say I don't want to use the lead at all. Say OK. And now you see they're all going in different directions. And the reason they're doing that is purely because that's the way that those curves have been defined. If I was to go into the curve wizard and just go to the uh, curve start a reverse option and just highlight just each one of the curves so you can see where the beginning of the arrow is. You see that's the start position of the curve. So this now controls where the lead in will occur from. So I can cancel that. I can run through another 3D simulation and this time you'll only see the cutting occurring when it's actually cutting the model as opposed to on the start lead in. There's our completed model.